Despite centuries of scientific evidence proving otherwise, a small but vocal minority continues to believe in the notion that the Earth is flat. But why do some people cling to this belief in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary? In our quest for knowledge and understanding, we are often confronted with ideas that challenge our perception of the world. One such idea persisting through the ages is the belief in a flat Earth. Despite the overwhelming scientific consensus supporting the spherical model of Earth, there exists a small yet vocal group of individuals who fervently believe our planet is not a globe, but a flat disk. These flat Earth proponents, as they're often called, hold a variety of beliefs and theories. Some suggest that the Earth is a flat disk surrounded by an ice wall, while others propose different models entirely. But what unifies them is a shared skepticism towards mainstream scientific narratives and a firm belief in trusting their personal experiences and observations. When asked, why do you believe the Earth is flat? A common response from these individuals is, because that's what I see. They argue that when they look out at the horizon it appears flat, not curved. They question the validity of photographs taken from space, suggesting they might be manipulated or fabricated. They point out that we don't feel the Earth spinning beneath our feet. So how can we be sure it's actually moving? These arguments, while seeming logical on the surface, often ignore or misinterpret key principles of physics and the scientific method. They rely heavily on personal observations and experiences, often discounting the vast body of empirical evidence supporting a spherical Earth. In this light, the belief in a flat Earth can be seen not just as a rejection of mainstream science, but also as a testament to the power of personal experience and perception. It raises intriguing questions about the nature of belief, the trust we place in scientific institutions, and the complex interplay between our senses and our understanding of the world. Flat Earth proponents often cite personal observations and mistrust of mainstream science as reasons for their beliefs. They question the validity of photographs taken from space and argue that the curvature of the Earth is not readily apparent in everyday life. Belief in a flat Earth predates modern science with ancient civilizations such as the Babylonians, Egyptians, and Greeks holding various cosmological views. These early societies developed their own interpretations of the world's shape, often reflecting their cultural beliefs and religious ideologies. For instance, Ancient Babylonian mythology depicted the Earth as a flat disk floating in the ocean, while early Egyptian cosmology envisioned the world as a flat plain stretching under a giant celestial dome. The ancient Greeks, however, made significant strides towards the understanding of a spherical Earth. The philosopher Pythagoras is often credited with being one of the first to propose a spherical Earth in the 6th century BC, and by the 3rd century BC, the Greek astronomer Eratosthenes had even calculated the Earth's circumference with remarkable accuracy. Yet despite these advancements, the concept of a flat Earth endured. In the early Christian era, for example, certain biblical interpretations led some to envision the Earth as a flat surface. This perspective, though not universally accepted, was notably advocated by the Christian theologian Cosmas Indicopleustes in the 6th century AD. Interestingly, the Middle Ages did not, as is commonly believed, universally uphold the notion of a flat Earth. In fact, from the late Middle Ages onward, educated Europeans generally accepted the Earth's roundness as fact. Yet, the belief in a flat Earth was not entirely extinguished. It lingered on, preserved in folk traditions and in the minds of those who had limited access to scientific knowledge. Fast forward to the modern era, and the belief in a flat Earth has experienced a surprising resurgence. Driven in part by mistrust in scientific institutions and the spread of misinformation on the Internet. Despite the widespread acceptance of the spherical Earth model since the time of ancient Greece, flat Earth beliefs persisted in isolated pockets of society. As we delve deeper into the fascinating world of flat Earth beliefs, it's important to remember that such convictions, while fringe, are testament to the enduring power of cultural narratives and personal belief systems over empirical evidence. Flat Earth beliefs can be attributed to cognitive biases, such as confirmation bias and motivated reasoning, which lead individuals to seek out information that confirms their pre-existing beliefs while disregarding contradictory evidence. Let's break this down a bit. Confirmation bias, a psychological phenomenon, is when we favor information that confirms our existing beliefs or values. It's like putting on a pair of tinted glasses that only allows you to see the world in your favorite color. It's comfortable, it's familiar, it's less challenging. 
Confirmation bias is a powerful force, and it's a major player in the flat earth belief system. Now, let's talk about motivated reasoning. This is a concept in cognitive psychology that refers to the unconscious tendency of individuals to process information in a way that suits their own end goal or purpose. So, for a flat earther, they aren't just passively absorbing information, they're actively interpreting it in a way that supports their belief that the earth is flat, but it's not just about the individual and their cognitive biases. The sociological aspect is equally important. Humans are social creatures and we crave acceptance and connection. We want to feel like we belong. And in the world of flat earth beliefs, there's a strong sense of community and identity. There's a shared language, shared values, shared beliefs. It's an us against them mentality, where them refers to the mainstream science and society that flat earthers feel have rejected or deceived them. This sense of community is a powerful motivator. It can make people hold fast to their beliefs even in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary. It's not just about believing the earth is flat. It's about belonging to a group that values truth, skepticism, and free thinking, at least from their perspective. So in the end, the belief in a flat earth isn't just about rejecting mainstream science, it's about cognitive biases that shape our perception of the world. It's about the need for community and a sense of identity. Additionally, social factors such as community and identity play a significant role in reinforcing these beliefs. In the age of the internet, flat earth beliefs have found fertile ground in online communities and social media platforms, where like-minded individuals can connect, share ideas, and reinforce their convictions. In the digital age, the belief in a flat earth has been given a new lease on life. Online platforms have become a hub for individuals who reject the mainstream scientific understanding of the earth's shape. Here, they find validation, camaraderie, and a sense of belonging. From discussion forums to social media groups, flat earth proponents gather to question, debate, and share their perspectives. These digital spaces serve as echo chambers where the same ideas are repeated and reinforced, insulated from outside criticism. It's not just about the exchange of ideas though. These communities also offer a sense of belonging. For some, identifying as a flat earther becomes a part of their personal identity, tied to a broader narrative of questioning authority and rejecting mainstream narratives. Modern flat earth conventions are another significant part of this movement. These gatherings, which have taken place in various cities around the world, provide an opportunity for flat earth believers to connect in person. They share presentations, engage in debates, and further strengthen their community ties. At these conventions, the belief in a flat earth is often intertwined with other conspiracy theories. The atmosphere is one of skepticism and mistrust of mainstream narratives, with a shared belief in the idea that they are privy to knowledge that the rest of the world is blind to. These communities and conventions provide a platform for the spread of flat earth beliefs, but they also serve another purpose. They offer a sense of validation and community to individuals who may feel marginalized or dismissed by mainstream society. Even as scientific evidence continues to overwhelmingly support the spherical earth model, these communities persist. They offer a sense of belonging and validation that can be powerful motivators, even in the face of contradictory evidence. Flat Earth beliefs continue to find supporters, bolstered by the sense of community and validation provided by these online platforms. As we continue to navigate the digital age, it's essential to understand the role that these communities play in shaping and reinforcing unconventional beliefs. The overwhelming scientific consensus supports the spherical Earth model, with evidence ranging from satellite imagery to observations of lunar eclipses. Flat Earth arguments, while compelling to those who subscribe to them, often rely on misunderstandings of basic physics and geometry. Let's debunk some of these common arguments. Flat earthers often point to the absence of visible curvature on the horizon as proof of a flat earth. However, the earth's curvature is subtle and difficult to observe from ground level due to the planet's vast size. From higher altitudes, such as those achieved during spaceflight, the curve of the earth becomes evident. Another common argument is the belief that if the Earth were truly spinning at over a thousand miles per hour, we would feel it. But we don't feel the Earth's rotation because we're moving with it at a constant speed. It's the same reason you don't feel the speed in a moving car, unless it accelerates or decelerates. Then there's the claim that images of Earth from space are fabricated. But consider this, multiple nations and private companies have launched satellites and astronauts into space, all returning with similar images of a spherical Earth. 
It's unlikely, to say the least, that all these entities from all over the world are collaborating in a grand conspiracy. The reality is, the scientific consensus on the Earth's shape isn't a matter of opinion. It's based on centuries of empirical evidence and rigorous testing. From the ancient Greeks' observations of lunar eclipses to modern satellite imagery and space travel, the evidence overwhelmingly supports a spherical Earth. While belief in a flat Earth persists among a small fringe group, the overwhelming body of scientific evidence supports the spherical Earth model. As we continue to explore and understand our planet and the cosmos beyond, it's important to approach such beliefs with skepticism and critical thinking.